DVD here. Today I'm gonna test this Max 3232 TTL to RS232 converter. Here I'm using my MSP 432 communicate and send and receive signals. And as you can see, this is one of the template applications by Texas Instruments for this microprocessor. I hooked them to my PC. And here they say if you send something like the first bit in the byte and the fifth bit in the byte, it should start blowing the two LEDs that, that I've got here. So, so you need those two bits. One here and one here to activate all the LEDs. But as you can see, this is 17 and I've got no symbol to write on my keyboard. So I'm gonna just click one bit, like that, and like that, to get a bigger number. This is 49. And this is the symbol of the one. So, if I put one on my keyboard and my terminal, here, one, press enter and it should glow. The two LEDs. See? And here, if I set this two to zero, And got 64, I guess. 64 is add symbol. If I press here add symbol, they should stop. Oh, I cannot send this. Oh, holy crap. Then we guys need another thing that we can send through RS. So here is B for example. 0110010. Here I've got 0 and here 20. So if I, if I send B, capital B. Oh, what happens? It should be good now. I have not I'm not connected. If I send for example A all all of you know that 65 in unsigned chair code. So I will got a one in the non significant bit. And that will drive my LED one. So if I press this, should become like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed my test of the RS232 converter. And I'll see you next time. Have fun.